So to equalize color images, there is no one uh, common method that is used to equalize them. And usually there are two sort of popular approaches to equalize, uh, to apply the histogram equalization algorithm or the adaptive histogram equalization algorithm to the color images. So one of the approaches is to convert our regular color image, our RGB color image. So we take our regular color RGB image and we convert it into a color space that allows the separation of the intensity component. So earlier we considered a color space HSV and then there is another color space YCBCR. And in HSV, the V is the intensity component. And in Y, C, and in Y CBCR, Y is our grayscale or the intensity component. So we histogram equalize the V channel in the HSV space and we histogram equalize the Y channel in the YCBCR space. So we have an input image I, we transform it into perhaps I HSV or I YCBCR. We histogram equalize the V component and we get image I prime HSV and I prime YCBCR and then to get the histogram equalized color image back, we convert the HSV, the transformed HSV image back into the RGB color space. We get our image I double prime, which is the histogram equalized image. So this is one popular method to uh, histogram equalize the color images. And one of the naive ways to histogram equalize color images is to histogram equalize each of the channels, the red, the green, and the blue channels of the image separately. So in the second approach, we take the R channel and we apply the histogram equalization or the adaptive histogram equalization method. Whatever method you want to apply, you apply it to R channel separately, you then apply it to green channel separately, and then you apply it to blue channel separately. But the problem with this approach is that it is, it has a potential to severely distort the color in images. This is because the R component is not the intensity value, is not the brightness value of a pixel. It is an intensity of the red channel or the grayscale value of the red channel of the image. So this is not same as the intensity that we measure in terms of the, in, in terms of the brightness. And that is why if we uh, separately histogram equalize these channels, then they would have different histograms. For example, our R histogram can look like this. Similarly, uh, sorry, I'll draw it with the, with the same color. So our R histogram can look like this. Perhaps this is our green histogram and then our blue histogram can look like, uh, can look like this. Whereas if we, let's suppose convert the entire image into a grayscale image. So I'll just draw it more clearly. So let's suppose our red component histogram looks like this, blue component histogram, something like this, and our green component histogram is perhaps like 
this. So you can see, I mean, all these histograms would be transforming um, the channels differently and that may distort the colors in the resultant image. And perhaps if we take the grayscale image of this image, the distribution may look entirely different. So perhaps once we convert into grayscale image or YCBCR or HSV, then the V component or the Y component or the grayscale component may have histogram something like this. Taking the effect of creature. I mean, I'm, I may not have drawn this correctly, just an approximate, um, just an approximation to show you the difference basically. So applying histogram equalization to this is significantly different than applying histogram to any of these histograms. So this covers the uh, discussion of the application of histogram equalization algorithms to the color images. And this also ends the topic of histogram equalization as a whole.